are now in Corsica, south of France. The weather is absolutely beautiful. I have just got ready for the day. Um, I'm wearing, you know how I struggle to show myself full length at home? It's even harder on this balcony, so bear with me. I'm wearing my white long um, waistcoat from Kukai. Um, I'm wearing long silk satin skirt. I just thought also from Kukai. Um, wearing this as like a little two piece, I just think they go really well together. I'm wearing my tan sandals. These look like the Hermes ones, but they're actually not. They were from a little town in Ibiza, which is actually where we're heading um, next. So maybe they'll have them there and I'll, be, I'll really want them in black. Maybe I'll, to get, I'll be able to get them in black. But anyway, they were from Ibiza last year, but you can see a little bit of an Hermes dupe, but they're so comfortable because the leather is so soft. So they're great for walking around in. And then my bag, oh, my bag's here. My bag is just this one from m and I thought it, go really nice. I have my sunglasses and I've done my hair up in a little plait um, just in case it was a bit windy my hair needs a wash so I thought let's get another let's get another day out of it. But yeah this will be ooh, my full outfit of the day ready to go and explore Corsica. This is the view that we woke up to this morning when we opened the curtains. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, look at that out here. Have another um, ship here. But yeah, we're gonna go off and explore all around here today. One thing, oh my God, last night, I, um, I woke up and it was about three in the morning and I had to sit up in bed. I felt underneath me, the whole ship was like, Ooh, swaying and usually um, for those of you that haven't been on I mean this is my first time on a ship like this you really don't notice that you're moving anywhere so when you do feel like you're moving it's a very strange sensation especially when you're still um, and in bed but oh my god I could really feel the sort of swaying and I looked out the window and it was so choppy and windy it was a little bit scary it freaked me <laughs> it freaked me out Natalie was asleep next to me and I thought Shall I wake her up because I'm scared? <laughs> no, let her be in peace. But yeah, overnight it was definitely very choppy. And um, so I'm glad it's calmed down now because that's the first time I've really felt the sensation of the ship moving. Um, but yeah, all good now. The water, oh, look how blue the water is. It looks so beautiful. Oh, it's just absolutely stunning. Right, let's head down and explore. So we are having a little wander around. We've just stumbled upon this. Looks like a farmer's market. Oh, look at the little puppies. Oh, look. Oh, sweet. Um, so we're going to make our way around, have a little mooch. Um, I think we're going to head around this way and see what shops and things there are. Cute ice cream shop there with all the flowers outside. Oh, this looks really pretty. We have just ordered a couple of cups of teas. We found a lovely little um, cafe. Of course, we can't be in France without ordering a croissant. Um, we actually skipped croissants on the ship this morning so that we could have a real one. Hello, oh, thank you very much. Had a little wander into Mango. How gorgeous is this blue uh, waistcoat with trousers? Love this colour. Love this. The dress is nice as well. We have ventured onto the high street and we thought this looks like a lovely little shop, so we're going to go and have 
a look in here now. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see me, but we have um, had a lovely morning having a stroll around Corsica. I did pick up a couple of little goodies from Mango. I'll show you when we get back what I bought, but the plan now is we're going to head back towards the ship. Uh, I think we're going to pop into the galley on the ship, which is where all of the restaurants and things are. Grab a very, very, very light bite to eat because we're not too hungry. Um, I'm, I think I might grab some sushi or something. And then we we yet to actually try the ice cream on the ship yet. There's a, a little ice cream parlour, so we're going to head there, get some ice cream, find somewhere nice to sit, and yeah, have another. Yeah, just enjoy the sunshine today. Please excuse the slightly messy room in the background, but what are you gonna do? We've got two girls sharing a room. There's gonna be stuff everywhere. Um, I just grabbed a couple of bits from Mango and just thought I'd quickly show you. So I grabbed these shorts, these shorts. I love the wash of them. They're like a proper vintage style, classic blue wash, which is my absolute favorite. I also love the fact that the legs on them look really wide so that's going to be really flattering um i just love this style of almost like mom shorts they just look like a really really great length and i always love um shorts from mango anyway the fit of them is always really nice so i grabbed those and i also grabbed this little silk scarf it's like um it's like a handkerchief type thing but i love this i love the idea of having a little silk scarf around your neck definitely more for like a holiday vibe i also love the idea of having it maybe in my hair like this i just i love that vibe and i also think the scarf looks really lovely with the shorts so i'm hoping to create a really lovely summer look with both of these things but yeah not a huge haul just a couple of bits but i really like them i think they'll really add something to my summer wardrobe but for now, we have obviously got back on the ship. We had a really lovely morning just strolling around Corsica. Um, they had a really, um, they had a little like farmer's market there. We went up and down the high street looking at the shops. We sat, did some people watching, had a croissant and a cup of tea. Um, but yeah, we're going to head to the galley now. I'm kind of feeling a little bit of sushi. That is a good thing about the galley on board these ships anything you fancy they've got it so i'm feeling just something really light because we are actually going to the test kitchen this evening and the test kitchen is essentially i think it's like a tasting menu so i'm imagining a lot of food so i don't want to make myself too full so yeah a bit of sushi maybe a little bit of ice cream and yeah just a chilled one i think we're going to do um we've booked on to do zumba at five o'clock i don't know if the internet needs to see me doing zumba to be honest whether or not i'll film that i don't know but yes i'm actually really looking forward to that years and years ago when i lived um sort of back at home before i left for uni me and natalie would always go to the gym and always do zumba classes so i feel like it's a blast from the past and we were just reliving that time of our life um only this time we're doing it on on a cruise so rather nice but anyway now I've shown you that, I'm going to head down and grab some lunch. We got the goods. What did you have now? Is it strawberry milkshake flavour? Yeah, strawberry, strawberry milkshake. milkshake. I was very boring and got vanilla because it's just, <laughs> I just fancied that, but oh, it's very, very nice ice cream. So they even have a pizza place on board, which is open until 2am every single morning. I thought this might be the perfect opportunity to show you um, my new, is it new? Yeah, the first time I've, I've actually had this for a couple of months now, but it's the first time I've actually had the opportunity to wear it. Um, it's from Monday Swimwear. Oh my gosh, I am honestly so in love with their swimwear. It's just gorgeous. But it's this beautiful black and white um, swimwear piece. They also do bikinis, they do um, beach cover-ups, beach dresses. If you've not seen them, um, I will link them down below. But yeah, I just, I was obsessed with this swimsuit. As soon as I saw it on their website, I was like, yeah, that's a bit of me. Neutral, black and white, love the fit. It's got um, an underwire here under the bust. Not that I need it. <laughs> we know I'm not the bustiest of girls, but it's really, it does feel very supportive. So if you um, 
were blessed with um, a bigger breast area, it would feel very, very comfortable, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys this because I'm just very happy that I finally got a chance to wear it. What is this woman bringing over here? What have you got? <laughs> I'm gonna get some champagne as well. Oh my God. What are these? Are these? Um, watermelon. Fro are they like the froze eyes? The yeah. frozen cocktails? Frozen oh my God. They look amazing. Red. Wow. I have just ordered myself a little tuna and avocado um, bowl for the beds. Um, this looks so delicious. This is just what I was fancying. I just wanted something really light and fresh. Just to fill a gap for now. But, oh, you, you can get um, bao buns, the sushi, the salmon bowls. Um, the options are really good up here. But yeah, this is what I've gone for. This is the current view looking out over the ocean i've got my bag of essentials here with my new chloe bag i have started reading this book i actually bought this i want to say 12 months ago for a holiday and um, it was one of two books that i bought and i ended up re um, reading the other one and not starting this one so i've started this one um, i've not got too far into it yet but i will keep you updated I popped a, a picture of it on my Instagram and so many people messaged me to say how good it was. So I'm really excited to get stuck into this. Okay, I'm having to currently hide because the sun is so bright, but um, I wanted to quickly show you my outfit. So tonight is Scarlet Night. So um, on board the ship on Scarlet Night, everyone, actually the public guest, has to dress in red. Um, and it's basically like a big party on board. There's loads going on. I mean, I don't know. I've never been to Scarlet Night before, but I'm sure I'll see what happens. So apparently it's not one of the best nights of the week on the ship. So really excited for that. The dress that I'm wearing, away, is from Karen Miller. And it was a very last minute purchase. Um, red is a really bright colour. And I, dresses like this that, you know, a little bit showing a little bit of chest, not my um, not my comfort zone really, but I'm embracing it. I'm going with it. Um, the dress is gorgeous. The dress is absolutely lovely. It's just me. I'm not usually one for wearing red. I just don't think it's my colour. But um, but yeah, I thought I'd bring you along and yeah, show you a little bit of what Scarlet Night is about. Today has been um, an at sea day, so we've not um, docked anywhere. We've just been in the sea. I'll show you the view in a minute. It's amazing. The sun is about to set. It's about eight o'clock. Um, but yeah, it's just been at, an at sea day. So this morning we went to the spa. We've just had a very chilled day, ready for Scarlet Night tonight. Um, but yeah, we're going to head to one of the bars have a couple of drinks, go get some dinner, and then I think everything starts around nine o'clock. So yeah, I'm gonna go and try and get a nice picture in my dress, but let me show you the view out here, because it is stunning. I mean, just look at that, just ocean for miles and miles and miles. And the sun is not far from setting. It just looks so, so gorgeous. So beautiful. But anyway, we're going to head off and grab some drinks. I love the fact that we have actually come back to the Italian restaurant because we loved it so much last time. So, for the biggest night on ship, we thought we're going to come back to our favourite restaurant. It's so so beautiful as you can see everyone is wearing red it's such a good vibe on board at the minute everyone's in a really good mood there's music there's dances everywhere so we're gonna have um, our lovely Italian meal and then we're gonna go and join in on all the fun so I have gone for calamari to start I've also had a lovely Aperol spritz Natalie what are you drinking? Uh, Bellini. Bellini, it's really good. It's really good. Really good. What have you had? Um, the gnocchi no mushrooms. Gnocchi no mushrooms look so nice. I might be tempted to try a little bit of you. Gnocchi. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. Natalie, what have you had? 
the sea bass. Sea bass. What's that underneath? Is it potatoes? Um, yeah, potatoes. I don't. Yeah. Fat. Oh, the sea bass. We. I had some of that lots of time. It's so good, isn't it? So fresh. I've had the spaghetti bungalow. Just waiting for the parmesan. Oh, right on cue. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, is it good? So this is the part where I have to say stop, don't I? <laughs> yeah, that's like lovely. Topic, yeah, almond, yeah. chocolate chips, mm -hmm. peanut and meringue. Oh, could I have some chocolate chips, chocolate chips. please? Thank you. Lovely, thank and you very much. Espresso? Yes, please. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you very much. Mm, thank you. Good morning guys, you'll see the ship in the background, we've just, oh gosh the sun, I'll have to put my sunglasses on in a minute, um, we've just got off the ship because we have, um, I keep going to say we've landed, we've not landed anywhere, we've arrived um in ibiza we actually arrived here um yesterday evening about 7 p.m um so you actually had the option because the um ship has been here overnight you could have gone out in ibiza and you know party party however we've very much been there and done that haven't we <laughs> we've done that a few times so we weren't really uh up for doing that we actually had a really nice um chilled evening there was like entertainment on the ship but anyway it's now the next morning we've got a full day in Ibiza so we are heading I'm pretty sure we're right near the old town which is perfect I love Ibiza old town it's so nice and cute to go and just have a wander around um, it's also the weekend so I think they'll have the markets there and yeah we were at me and Natty were actually here this time last year and we were in Ibiza um, probably on the same day as well I think pretty much a year to the day we were here um, so yeah, we're going to go and have a little wander around. With some areas on the cruise, you can get off the ship and you're just there, ready to go. And other places, they will organise either a boat, like they did in Toulon, where they take you to the shore, or a bus and I'll take you into like the town or the city. Um, it just depends, so I'm not sure what the... I'm pretty sure, do we think there's a shuttle bus or something for this one? I think... Yeah. I think there's something um, but in terms of getting on and off the boat they make you feel very safe so they'll scan you Ooh, sorry <laughs> let the camera adjust they'll scan you when you come off the boat and um, when you get back on the boat you'll go through a little like security check where they'll scan your bags and it's really good it makes you feel very secure which is good so we're just going through oh can we get through there yeah so we're just going through a little bit of like a security bit now on the way out um, but yeah it's been a lovely few days I haven't been vlogging every single day um, just because also I don't want the vlog to be repetitive and show you the same things because obviously you know we've, we've got into our little routine now we'll get up we'll go to the gym or we'll go for a little wander we'll go for breakfast so I don't want to show you the same thing every day oh my gosh it's such a lovely day uh, do we head up that way? Let's just find out where we need to go. Here we go. Sorry, we just had to um, figure out what we were doing. So they make it very easy. So you can see the Virgin Voyages flag here so that we know this is our uh, transfer. So we're going to hop on this bus. I don't think it's very long for the transfer because looking at the maps, we're right next to the old town. So we're going to hop on here and head in. So we have arrived in the beautiful Ibiza town, just in the marina here. But as you can see, um, we're currently in Ibiza town and if you just look just up there you've got the old Ibiza town or Dolt Vila so that's where we're gonna head up there because I love exploring the old town it's just so lovely we're gonna have a little wander around Ibiza town and there's loads of kind of shops souvenir shops restaurants bars um, it's just really lovely to explore and then we'll slowly make our way up to the old town that's perched on a very, very small mountain. First um, first stop of the day 
and we're actually in one of our favourite little marina side um, like bars and restaurants. We're just going to have a couple of little things to eat um, and we're going to just make our way up to the old town. We've ordered a glass of wine and yeah, today is like, today is my favourite day on the cruise. I was really looking forward to coming back here. So yeah, first pit stop of the day. Two of my absolute favourite things on holiday, bread and alioli. Three things and rosé. <laughs> Perfect combination. So what we thought were going to be two little plates have turned out to be slightly bigger plates of um, hadron peppers and potatoes papas. This We might end up eating five times today. <laughs> Because our little picky bits plates are um, slightly large, but oh my god, these smell incredible. So we've finished up our first spot. Oh my god, I thought it was a real person there. <laughs> I thought that it was a real lady. <laughs> I was like, why is she standing there? I thought it was like security outside the shop. <laughs> um, anyway, we've come for um, a wander around the little shops. Fun fact, this is actually where I bought my sandals from that look like the Hermes ones. Um, I bought them this time last year in just one of these little shops. Really, really affordable. I might even try and have a look and see if I've got any um, in black, but oh, look how pretty these are. Oh my gosh, I love these. They're so nice. Should we have a look in here? I don't, I feel like it wasn't this street. I feel like it was the next street over. Maybe it wasn't, I don't know. A look these are like the castanier wedges that um you know the wedges i've got back in the <gasps> oh <laughs> how funny i might just have to get them how much are they 44 euros and they are the comfort most comfortable sandals i own because the leather is really soft they don't rub i might have to get those <laughs> how great is that i really love these um black wedges they'd actually go really nice on my dress today I'm wearing a dress from nobody's child this is the brand Karina these are 54 euros I love those have you just found them in white I have <laughs> they're really nice they've got really nice bits in here like shirts and dresses this is nice that's really nice oh it's a, oh, it's a jumpsuit it's got legs it's really nice I thought I would quickly show my outfit while I'm in here I'm wearing this dress from Nobody's Child with my tan sandals from this very shop this time last year and um, my Amazon belt. I've got my Chloe bag only because I've actually bought a couple of changes of outfits for content reasons. Um, yeah, it's my outfit for the day and I've managed to pick up my tan sandals in black. Absolute bargain. So we're now heading up through the market to the old town as you can see. All of the streets are just lined with stalls, like there's food, as you can see here, there's homemade baskets, there's some music playing up here, I don't know what is going on. But Well, one of about five entrances up into the old town. Look how beautiful it is and we had such a lovely uh, welcome with the drums playing. So yeah, we're gonna leave Ibiza town now and head up in there. We 
just had pit stop number two and you might have noticed I've had a little outfit change. So not only are we exploring old Ibiza, I'm also um, taking it as a little bit of a content day as well and getting a few outfit pictures for Instagram. So I've just shot the first look, which was the long black dress from Nobody's Child. Um, and now I'm shooting this, which is the khaki waistcoat from New Look and white shorts. I believe these are my Kukai shorts, so they could be H&M, I can't remember. I've got a fair few pairs of white shorts, but it's one of them. But I thought this was also a really good look for Ibiza town. Um, but anyway, we're gonna head up now into the older part. And yeah, hit stop number three. So we have climbed up into the old town. As you can see, I'm gonna spin you around. Look how beautiful it is. If you ever do come to Ibiza, you've probably already heard of this place in Old Town. Pretty sure it's called, I'll pop it on the screen, I'm pretty sure it's called Sescalinata. I could be pronouncing that wrong, but I apologise. I'll put, it, I'll put it on the screen, but it's an amazing um, bar. They do tapas, cocktails, and um, they have all sort of like bean bags upstairs. It's a really lovely place to sit for a good couple of hours, people watching. If I spin you around, look at the view out over on Ibiza. Look at that. Just beautiful. So we're going to grab a chair somewhere, have a bite to eat, and yeah, more people watching for us. Just ordered some hummus and pita for our next pit stop. A glass of rosé. And that's had the same thing. I'm going to try a little bit though. Look how lovely the view is, by the way. All up here. Try a little bit. I have eaten most of the fruit out of it. You've eaten your salad, haven't you? Mmm. <laughs> it's good. That's really nice. Yeah, I would have had that actually. No, I stuck to, um, I was well behaved, I stuck to my rosé instead. I um, apologise, ooh, why did I start filming when I'm walking down some stairs? <laughs> I apologise in advance if the light is not very good here, but um, yeah, we finished at our final pit stop of the day. Honestly, it's one of my favourite places in Old Ibiza. It's so lovely there, we were just sat having the best time. Just have not stopped laughing for the past like two hours. Oh, so lovely. But anyway, we are actually heading back down into Ibiza town. Uh, we just need to go straight on here, by the way. If we get on this side, that's it. Um, we're heading back to the little shuttle bus that's gonna take us um, back to the ship. And the plan is we're gonna have our final evening up at Richard's rooftop. Our friends are gonna be there, our American friends from North Carolina. We're gonna go and see them and have our final dinner on the ship and then yeah just make the most of our last day it's been so lovely i've absolutely loved my first cruise it's been so fun we've now made it back on the ship and we've grabbed a quick ice cream in the ice cream parlor i've gone for a strawberry milkshake with a red velvet cone natalie's had pistachio with a vanilla cone look at us 